Hello friends welcome to Aries vlogs once again this time i'm going to explain the english part of cds examination that is combined defense service examination so let us look at the questions the first type of questions are they have given some idioms and phrases each is followed by four options you have to choose the right option which forms the meaning of that idioms and phrases now let us see the first question is a paper tiger how will you explain that you know a tiger is a ferocious wild animal you are scared of a tiger but what if it is drawn on a paper or it is made of a paper it will be very weak it has no strength it doesn't have the strength of the tiger so a paper tiger means a people group or nation that appears to be threatening but actually it is very weak so our answer is option a a person or organization that appears powerful but actually is not next is lily livered liver is the space of courage because it is full of blood etc but what if it is like a lily pale colored and very weak we cannot say that it is strong so a lily livered means a person who has who is not strong or who has no courage at all he is not brave enough to do anything so our option is option b not brave next question is eat like a bird eat like a bird means though the bird eats enough for its body we believe that birds eat very little and that too very slowly so when we say eat like a bird it means it gives the idea eating very little we can say she remains thin because she eats like a bird so our option here is option b eat very little next is the dog days actually dog days refer to the weather when the weather becomes very hot you cannot do any work you no, cannot go out you will pant like a dog so that is why we called it dog days when it is very hot people cannot do any work they are weak and they sweat and they pant all these things so here the dog days means the option is the hottest day next is a banana republic in olden days there were some countries which were politically very unstable small country there was no proper government and they could be ruled by any other country they were poor they depended on other countries for their living their only source of income was some agriculture and exporting that products like banana etc so a banana republic means a small country which is very weak and it is option a small or poor country with a very weak government next question is the pros and cons pros and cons actually it is a latin word pro stands for for and con stands for against that means the merits and demerits of any situation or fact or anything like uh, arguments for and against something that is in a debate you must say the pros and cons of that fact that means the merits and demerits so the answer is option a good and bad parts of a situation next is prime the pump when do you use the pump when do you prime a pump to gush up water or to take water from it so similarly prime the pump means to motivate someone or to say something to make a process succeed or to make a person successful just like pumping water up so our option is prime the pump option a to do something in order to make a person succeed next question is the green eyed monster green eyed monster is a figurative usage it comes from shakespeare's othello and green eyed monster means what jealousy that you hate someone because they are successful if a person loves another person more you are jealous and you are affected by green eyed monster so our option is green eyed monster means a feeling of being jealous next is rise to the occasion that is you may face different situations in life 
if the situation is negative for you that you feel that you are not successful suddenly you sum up some courage or sum up some way of tackling it and you overcome the difficult situation such a habit is called rising up to the occasion so you are dealing with a difficult situation in a very smooth way so it is option c to succeed in dealing with a difficult situation next is call it a day call it a day means you have been doing a lot of work and then you make efforts to stop that activity and take some rest to give oneself rest or to have some relaxed time after a hectic schedule or you have been working somewhere for a long time and you come back home after stopping that that means you decided to call it a day and you came back home you decided to call it a day and take rest so our option is option c stop doing something in order to take rest and avoid the feeling of boredom so the answer is stop doing something so now friends we have discussed 10 idioms or phrases and i hope it was useful for you and my request is that uh, you must go through all the videos and share and subscribe these videos i'll be dealing with the rest part of the question paper in my coming videos so thank you very much